How's it going ladies and gentlemen? DSP Fishing in another video here and this video is the first week of archery deer season. Um, I finally got the video uh, compiled so I can show that to you guys. I know it's been a while after deer season and we're, gonna, we're gonna, not only going to see my hunt but as well as Andrew's hunt which on the same day we actually ended up getting a deer. So great first week. Uh, excited for the rest of the deer season. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we're at quote unquote deer camp 2020. We're just here tonight before we got Dan. Dan, what's your plans for opening shoot day? Shoot a big one. You can shoot a big That's one. It. And we got Inch over here. Inch, what's your game plan? Not go out till the afternoon, buy some skis in the morning, take the dogs on a walk. We're going casual. And then we're going to try not to hit the butt this year. <laughs> it's probably a good, good uh, strategy there. Uh, we're going to we're gonna try to get a buck the opening day, so. Yeah, this is, we're just playing pool right here. Uh, seems like Dan and Andrew are doing a lot better than I am. Um, but, so, I yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, stay tuned for the actual start of the hunt. Yeah, honest to God, it might be a good thing if the deer jumps a string for me this year. I think I got a better chance of hitting them. For those of you guys that don't know, Andrew uh, has a very bad uh, reputation of Missing. In, yeah, missing or I was deer. one for one my first year, and then it went downhill. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you killed one. Yeah, I you killed. Didn't, one. You didn't eat one. <laughs> I ate the first one, not the second yeah. one. Well, guys, we're gonna be heading out. So good luck to you guys. Good luck to you too. <laughs> Dan, Dan's gonna kill a deer with just his stare. Uh, <laughs> we promised Dan we were not doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen here. I'm gonna kill twelve of them. The first three, I'm going to kill legal, And then the next nine, I'm going to give me this icy cold stare right here. Okay, Kyle. <laughs> That's Uncle Cy. Si. Si. <laughs> well, good luck to you guys. Yeah, See ya. See ya. Alrighty, guys. It's open day deer season. Uh, it's archery. It's currently 4 o'clock. Um, we're going to be heading over probably 30 minutes to where we're, well, probably about 35. And we're going to see if we get a buck today. Uh, we're going solely for a buck legal buck whatever comes through and uh, before we do that I want to go back and look at some of the preseason scouting and some other trail camera photos of stuff that I did to this ground before season first thing that I did was I created a little bit of a feeding spot by putting out some deer feed before season this is allowed 30 days before the, the start of the deer season in Pennsylvania. I used my granulated corn as well as some liquid attractant to draw the deer to the area as well as assess some of the deer population and bucks in the area. I put up a trail camera making sure that I was sent free just about 5 yards off of the, the corn pile to see what kind of deer were going to come in. And after 3 weeks of having the trail camera up, these were the results that I gathered. As you can see, there were a myriad of bucks that had come through, so I knew that I could try to get at least one legal buck this archery season. The next thing that I did was I created a ground blind out of an old sawhorse that I draped over with a camo tarp and then brushed in. Alright guys, we made it here. It's uh, 4.46, um, by the time I get in the stand, I'll probably be 5.10, somewhere around there. So, stay tuned, uh, we're going to switch to the hunt, wish me luck, you know, but uh, stay tuned for the opening day, 2020 deer hunt. As the morning began, I began to notice that I was very concealed in this spot. This ground blind allowed me to peer back with only my head showing, and then if I did see a deer, I could lift up the crossbow and place it onto the sawhorse with as minimal movement as possible. The crossbow that I'm using is a Wicked Ridge Invader crossbow, which is, I got brand new, and I'm using some 10 point arrows with Alpha Nox because that's what this cro crossbow recommends. As the morning began, I started to see a few squirrels, which were the first indication that, that the woods were starting to wake up. And before long, I looked around off to my left and I saw my first deer of the morning. A beautiful doe and her mother 
that came in within 15 yards. The owners of this property weren't too fond of doe harvest, so I let these deer go and I got to watch them into the night. I had several deer there for more than 20 minutes at a time and I saw a total of nine deer throughout the day. All right, guys. It's currently 5:22. Uh, I'm getting. I haven't leave, left yet. I'm gonna get there a lot later uh, because it's, as you can see behind me, probably it's raining, and I don't think the deer are gonna be moving too much in the rain. But when it stops raining, I think uh, we're gonna have great deer movement. So stay tuned. Uh, now we're gonna switch to hunt day two, Monday. Well, for the morning sit, it was very rainy and damp. I knew I wasn't going to see much, but I unfortunately didn't see anything at all. Not even squirrels were out this morning. Alright guys, so no deer at this spot. Um, we're going to go to another stand and another property. So and we can shoot does there, so we're going to try to get a doe. Stay tuned, I'm going to detox the crossbow and then we're going to make our way over there. Stay tuned. When I arrived at the second property, I knew because the rain has decided that it was prime time for deer movement. So I got him to stand as quickly as possible to try to catch these deer before they saw me. This stand was wide open and I could see a large amount of area from this one stand. After about an hour and a half of sitting in the stand, I happened to look off to my left behind the stand and I noticed a deer that was trying to walk through and feed on the acorns that were nearby. This deer milled around at probably 40 yards for about 15 minutes. Then as it stepped into the opening and came back down, I decided to take my shot. Alrighty guys, first year of the season, right here. Thought it was a doe, turned out to be a button buck. That happens, it wasn't intentional. Um, they're still considered an antlerless deer. Um, by the way, my tag is right over there. It just, I, it just keeps falling out. So yes, this deer is tagged, so don't worry about that. First deer with the new uh, Wicked Ridge Invader crossbow. Um, I'm starting to like it. Got scope camo as well. That's always nice. So you might you guys might have already enjoyed that, but uh, I don't know how that turned out. So we're gonna get this guy uh, gutted out, put the, the ear tag back on him, and be on our way. <laughs> As I was finishing up processing my deer, Andrew, on his property, was seeing some action of his own. guys Andrew here we shot a doe not too long ago um, gonna give her a little bit more time heard a crash up over the hill 
just here in my tree stand, gonna hang out for maybe another hour or so, but I don't think she's going anywhere. I think I got her. Came in from over here, walked right underneath my stand, and when she got about, about that little tree right there in front of my finger, it's only 10 yards. She was gonna keep going, so I pulled back, aimed for the spine, went straight down, pretty sure I hit the lungs. Um, went the whole way through the lung, I aimed so it comes straight out the front of the chest, and then she took off and ran over there, ran up that bank. I guess I'll let you know when I find her. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I was really excited to get some meat in the freezer to kick off the deer season, and congratulations to Andrew for his deer as well. Uh, this is just the beginning of the deer season. We have bow season, rifle season, and then muzzleloader and bow season. So we should have some good content for you guys to, to enjoy, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, slow and bay, my friends. I'll see you on the flip side.